Hi guys, welcome to the Artist Server. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an alternate cable solution for the R710. So, many of you have been watching my R710 build series, and in one of those videos, I showed you how to replace the SAS controller with an IT mode HBA card, this uh, H200 right here. And along with that, because I had a Perk 6 card in here, the SAS cables were not compatible and I had to replace those. So I showed you those and um, I sold these cables. Uh, these are Dell uh, factory cables that were meant for the um, H700 card and they work perfectly for the H200. I've sold some of these cables to you guys and I'm now completely sold out. And actually I'm having a very hard time finding these cables again. And many of you have contacted me asking when I might have more cables. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you uh, when I will because I simply can't find them at a reasonable cost. And some of you have told me that you've looked around because in my eBay listing, if you've seen it, I give you the part numbers. So you're welcome to take those part numbers and try to source them yourself. You don't necessarily have to buy them from me. But uh, even with those part numbers, uh, some people have said they've seen... Um, the cable sold for some crazy ridiculous price, like $50 a cable, not the set of cables, but a one single cable, one out of the two cables was listed for something like 50 bucks to $75. And, and I agree with you guys, that is uh, an exorbitant amount for a SAS cable. And so um, hearing that and also not being able to source any more of them myself, I decided to start looking for alternative solutions. And I've looked uh, and tried uh, several cables and trying to find something that would work. And I think I found them. So these are um, cables that I'm going to show you today. If I can get a hold of it here. All right, here we go. These are the cables that I'm going to show you today. Um, I was able to source these from a supplier. And they're not exactly like the Dell factory cables, but they will work. And I'm gonna show you how they fit into the server. So I'm gonna replace, this is the R710 that you guys have been watching in the R710 build series. I'm going to take out the factory cables today, and I'm gonna show you how these aftermarket cables um, will fit in this thing. So you have an idea of you know, whether uh, that works for you or not. They are not exactly the same. Um, for one, these cables are, the, the two different cables are exactly the same length, so they're in fact not different, they're just identical cables, so you can see that they're the same length here. They do have the proper right angle connector on the back plane side, but they do not have any kind of right angle connector on the SAS controller side. Um, it will still work, and I'll show you how all that looks like when I install this. Um, but one thing to note is that because they're identical in length, one of them is going to be a little bit longer than it actually needs to be. And so there'll be a little bit of excess cable, but it's not too bad, um, but I will show you what that looks like so you can judge for yourself whether that's acceptable to you or not. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you how this fits and I'm also gonna list this. Uh, I was able to find a supplier to provide this. Um, and I'm gonna list this in my eBay store. So there will be a link in the description of this video uh, so that you can get these cables if you need to. All right, now ideally, my personal opinion is if you can find the factory cables at a reasonable price, I would go ahead and get those. Those are exactly the right length as you can see here. They basically come uh, out and uh, there's no excess, there's no real excess cable uh, with the factory option. But let's go take a look at and see how this fits so you can see for yourself. All right, so I'm gonna start with just removing the fan shroud. We're gonna to have to remove the uh, fan wall as well to get to the SAS cables at the back plane side. So I'll take that out. Okay, so these are the uh, factory cables and this goes from port A to port A on the HBA. So let's go ahead and remove this. So, oh, I gotta remove this bracket here. So one of the issues with using an aftermarket cable is that the Dell's 
uh, system is set up to check the backplane from the controller and it uses the sideband signals on this cable in order to do that. But I think some third party cables, uh, they seem to not have that wired up correctly or they just don't wire it at all, maybe to save on wire costs, I don't know. But um, I have had people tell me that they tried an aftermarket cable and they got a uh, SAS A cable error or something like that. So, uh, so that's the that's the main issue when you go with an aftermarket cable. You don't know if that sideband signal is actually wired properly or not. And the factory cables for sure are wired correctly for that. Um, but I've tried uh, some other cables, and the ones that that we're going to uh, install today and that I'm going to show you now uh, are wired correctly. I have already tested it. M mainly, I'm doing this to demonstrate how what it looks like and how it, how it fits in the server. I've actually already tested those cables, and I know that they work. So let's go ahead and remove the B cable. All right, so this is one of the factory cables. This is the part P110M, and then the other one was the N170M cable. And yeah, I, you know, I did a search myself on eBay and I, I did see some vendors who were trying to sell that cable for like $75 and um, that's, just ridiculous <laughs> to me. So uh, I, I know I certainly would not pay that price. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys are going to uh, like this option and um, and it'll help you guys out. So all right, let's take out these cables. So go ahead and, and by the way, um, these cables, if you buy them from me, are gonna be brand new. So they're gonna have these caps that come with the brand new cables. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them so we can install this. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, these two cables are the exact same length, and because the distance from port A to port A here versus the distance from port B to port B here is different, and because these two cables are gonna be the exact same length, you're going to have uh, some excess cable on that second connection. And so you'll have a little bit of excess cable here, but there's usually enough room uh, for, for that, so uh, it's still workable. All right, so one thing we do have to make sure, even if you install um, these kind of aftermarket cables, you have to make sure port A on the back plane goes to port A on the controller side. So, you know what, I'm gonna start with port B actually. All right. And I'll wrap, you know what, I think it's probably best to go underneath this cable. I will wrap the cable around here and then we'll put it into this channel here. So you'll see how this is a little bit long, right? It's It, it really only needs to be about this long. And so there's about an excess five inches or so there. And so that's that's the main drawback of going with this aftermarket option. But, you know, if you can uh, save yourself uh, from not having to pay $75 for a cable, you know, maybe this is acceptable. So this is basically what you're gonna see. You're gonna have this excess cable right here. And so if you're installing another card, you might have to, um, you know, hold this down or tie this down somehow with the zip ties or something. You could use some zip ties and tie it up against this plastic bracket to just keep it down. So, or you know what, I'm just gonna tuck it underneath or kind of between the bracket and the wall, the chassis wall, and that seems to kind of hold it down. So let's go ahead and do the A cable. So this goes into port A on the back plane. And again, I'm gonna uh, run this underneath this, uh, I think this is a power cable for the back plane. Right. And again, we'll run it in there. Okay, 
So this one is not as bad because the distance um, from port A to from the back plane to the port on the SAS controller is a little bit longer, so that excess distance of the cable gets used up a little bit more. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. And just to show you that this all kind of fits, I'll go ahead and close all this up. All right, and let's put the fan wall back in. Alright, so as you can see, everything fits nicely. The cable is not too long. And so this is about the only issue that you're going to see, is that this, this length of cable is a little bit long. Now, on the other hand, uh, I had a customer who bought one of these to put in R710, and he said he was trying to install a PCI card right here. And the cables, the original factory cables, remember they kind of bend up. Um, he had a hard time uh, installing a card because those cables were coming up and I guess getting in the way of the PCI card here. So um, in this case, this actually might avoid that type of problem if you're putting a PCI card over here and you're having a hard time getting the, the, the cables that, were, uh, that have a right angle sticking up. This does not have a right angle, it's just a straight cable. You will have the excess cable over here, but if your PCI card is um, a half height card, so it might only occupy this much space, then this is perfectly fine, right? You have the space to uh, fold the cables around here. So in that case, this actually may be a better cable option if you have a card here that um, is getting in the way or the cables, the factory cables are getting in the way of a card that you want to install right above this uh, HBA. So that is what the cable looks like. It works. Um, it installs fine, everything is neat and uh, tidy. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and also fire this machine up. I wanna plug in all the cables, fire it up, and show you that there are no errors and that um, you will be able to see uh, all the drives uh, using this cable set. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. All right, guys, so I've plugged in all the cables. Let's go ahead and power this on. So you'll notice that the uh, LCD panel remains blue. There are no errors detected with those aftermarket cables installed. All right, I'm gonna let this system continue to boot up. There is an operating system installed already. So uh, we'll log in on the iDRAC virtual console so that I can show you at the OS level that all the drives are detected and everything works. All right, guys, so I'm connected to the Java KVM virtual console here, and I decided I'm going to actually reboot the system so you can actually see the post messages during boot so that you can actually verify that there are no error messages using those aftermarket cables. So let's go ahead and power on the system again. So here you can see the Avago LSI Technologies or the Avago Technologies LSI uh, BIOS ROM loading and there are absolutely no errors whatsoever. All right, so we're gonna boot up CentOS 7 here, and I'll log in and show you that we can actually see all the drives. Okay, let's go ahead and log in here. And first thing, let's verify that the controller is seen. Okay, so we do have the Perk H200 integrated, and that's that H200 card. And let's see what drives are connected to it. Okay, so here you will see that I have the six drives from the six bays. So this is a six bay R710. And you'll see the uh, Hitachi drives uh, on SDA uh, B, C, D, E, and F. And so all six drives are seen um, using those aftermarket cables. And there are absolutely no errors, like you saw during uh, post, there were no errors uh, indicated there. 
and also in on the front panel the uh, LCD screen remains blue without any faults uh, regarding the cables. I hope you guys uh, will find this useful. Um, I hope uh, for those who are having a hard time finding those factory cables uh, from Dell um, that this alternative will you know, give you another option. So be sure to check out um, the link in the description if you want to buy this uh, from my store. I should have it listed by the time this video is posted. And uh, give me a like if you like this video and make sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. Alright, thank you very much guys. Bye bye.